Polarization Dependent Loss STS is designed to characterize insertion loss through passive optical components at different states of polarization. It consists of a light source, the TSL570, a polarization control unit, the PCU110, and a detector, the MPM210. In this tutorial, we are going to explain how to connect these instruments using GPIB cables in preparation for your measurement. The TSL, PCU, and MPM can also be connected through Ethernet. Please refer to the user manual for more details. Connecting BNC cables will allow real-time calibration and rescaling, as well as the synchronization of TSL and MPM. First, connect one BNC cable from the TSL's trigger output to the MPM's trigger input. Then, connect the second BNC cable from the PCU's power monitor connector to the MPM's TSL monitor connector. The GPIB-GPIB cable allows all instruments to use the same GPIB port while maintaining their own respective addresses. For that, just connect the first GPIB-GPIB cable between the TSL and the MPM, and the second GPIB-GPIB cable between the PCU and the MPM. The USB cable will transfer data from the MPM's Data Acquisition Board, or DAC board, to the PC. Connect the USB cable from the MPM to a USB port on your PC. Finally, the GPIB USB cable will ensure communication between the user and the instruments. Connect the GPIB connector to either one of the GPIB ports, and then connect the USB connector to your PC's USB port. Now that all of the connections are set up, just power on all the instruments and start the Sontex web test system software from the link on your desktop. We hope this tutorial was helpful. For more details, please check our website.